What is going down my YouTube family? It is your boy Zary from the XMG coming at you today to talk to you a little bit about Disney Sorcerer's Arena. Just going to be a quick video. They put out some patch notes. Just wanted to kind of go over them because there was an interesting part in there that I wanted to see what everybody thought about. So, but before we jump into that, if you're just finding me for the first time, please consider hitting that subscribe button, joining the XMG family. For all my family members out there, you know I love you. And I just want to thank all of the new family members out there. They might not know me. And popping up on the screen now is just some of the things. I've been asking questions to this community that I am recently joined. And, you know, and people have come to my aid. They've answered questions. I'm seeing new names. Just really cool feeling. So just want to thank you all out there. I love you all. And let's jump into the patch notes. Here are the patch notes. And it's very, very minor. But I just feel that this is important that the dev team communicates on a daily basis and i'm spoiled rotten the, the the devs and dragon champions talk to me all the time or i can ask them questions at any point and they'll answer them for me and they communicate to the player base it's just a really really good community and i think that's what they're trying to build here and we're just going to go over them and then there's one mode at the end which i found to be pretty interesting so maybe we can theorycraft a little bit about that in the comments below you can tell me what you think it might be or maybe there's information that other YouTubers have that I don't because I can't watch anybody yet. So, let's jump into it and see what we got. We are happy to announce update 12 is coming soon. Here's what you can expect with 12. So, you'll challenge a friend or clubmate sorcerer's tournament defense team. I love that. I love that. I don't know if there's going to be a set amount you could do that, but it really lets you theory craft. You can have one person, hey, could you put in the Frozen team? I want to try this out. It's kind of like a sandbox mode, but it lets you be competitive with your friends and your clubmates. So that is just really, really cool. Players can change their payout times two times a year every 365 days. Or two times every 365 days. I added the year. But, again, that's a little quality of life feature. Just a really nice touch, and I really like how they do that allowing people to mold the game to benefit them allow player to toggle vip status visual i don't know what that is so yep next one character effect icon display updated so i don't know if that is going to be like the what is going to be over their head that would be really cool because it does kind of get in the way a little bit and it like they're, they're so big they kind of run off and there's like those three dots after them so that'd be kind of something i would like to see and interested in how they do um elite note attempts now show single heart with attempts left as a number to me that's that's not a big deal or the end of the world but that is a really good feature because sometimes i get confused like did the is the red heart one i've already used is that the one i'm on now so I get it, and it's probably easier to, if they ever wanted to increase or decrease the number of refreshes or things like that, it's probably easier to change the number than the change of the hearts, so get that. Locations with button loots now visible in Find Flow. Locations with bonus loot now visible in Find Flow. Perfect. I'm, I'm on board. VIP request all button, just another feature for the VIPs, not bad at all. Event towers are coming soon. Get ready for a brand new type of event. And that's, I think, the kind of the big deal is, you know, this game is newer, so it doesn't have a lot of content yet. And, and I'm okay with that because it's new. And I remember watching Unstable Gamers videos of this in beta, and it was like a completely different game. And then they went to like a shard kind of hero collector aspect. And they tweaked it, so I think they're doing a really, really good job, you know, pacing the game and getting people into it. And the event tower coming soon. So what what potentially could this event tower be? Now, they already have, like, the, the, the tower climb, and I noticed there's only a certain amount of those, so I don't know what happens. You just keep grinding the same one for the rewards, or once you complete it, you're done? I don't know. Maybe somebody can help me with that, too. But this event tower that's coming soon could really be something neat. It could be like maybe it changes every week. Maybe you have to use different teams every week. Because this is one of the things I really like about this game is that they promote depth of roster. And it's hard 
to build your roster, but once you do, it, it just feels rewarding. Dragon Champions does a good job of that too, with different events and uh, tournaments. You got to have different characters, and you're just not using the same people all the time. Just the meta in the PvP arena, and then you can just use them anywhere and destroy everything. I really like how they do that. And then it stinks up front, but once you get to a point where you're comfortable, and say meta shifts and a new character comes in, say Buzz Lightyear and Woody, you have them and you need them for an event. They're not meta right now, but say they bring in the T-Rex or Mr. Potato Head, and all of a sudden now they, they are a meta team. You already have two of those people ready to roll. So I'm hoping it's something like that, where maybe it switches every week, you're using different teams, um, maybe it's like a, a, could be like a bracket style tournament, I, I don't know, it, it could be fun, like maybe you're put into like a PvP grouping by your power and it's like a tournament and you get certain character shards after that, so it could be really, really cool. And then the part, you know, the other part is the addition of characters, and... For me, because I just started, this is cool. Because when I stopped playing last time, the Onward event just came out. And I dropped it right after there. I didn't get Ian or Barley or the Mana Core or anything like that. So the one thing I did think was pretty cool, I believe it was Barley. Yeah, he's the bigger blue one, I believe. The, the brother from the movie. He can dispel Taunt. That's really cool. I don't believe but maybe Ariel with her Dispel. There's not a lot of Dispels in this game. So he brings something beneficial and now he will be farmable. So that is big. So, you know, just, just quickly looking over that. Ian is now in node in the Grand Campaign. Node 3H. Awesome. Monterey Jack, 5L, Robin Hood, um, 6G, Jack Skellington, 6D, and then they remove Jack Skellington from 6E. So obviously they're setting themselves up for other characters. Then in the Hero Elite campaign is where we see Barley. So now he will be farmable for me. I will probably start farming him because he looks like a good solid character and he does have some synergy with Ian, of course. But he does look like a good solid character. And then in Villains, Node 5A is Robin Hood. Now, my question that, that makes me wonder is, I do the live PvP and you get your Robin Hood shards in there. Now that it becomes farmable, are they gonna like maybe bring in a new character to replace him in that PvP um, store or you know bag at the end when you get your 10 trophies? Because if they did that and they constantly were rotating the characters like that, I think it'd just be a really, really good idea. And it could really be beneficial to the player base as a whole. Because once you get him 7 star, I mean, the rewards, I mean, for me, the rewards are good right now. But at the end game, they don't seem like they'd be anything to keep me motivated to want to do that every day. Maybe I'm wrong. But. The fact of the matter is, is, if they brought a new character in, I don't know if they're gonna. It could be really beneficial. So family, there it is. Just a quick little update that I wanted to get out and talk about. Maybe start some theory crafting when. What do you think this event tower is going to be? Let me know in the comments below. Talk to me about it. Let me know what you're going to think. Do you think I am on point with Barley? Is he really that good of a character? Or is his just his dispel the only thing he brings to the table? The other thing is, too, is what do you think about the whole Robin Hood thing? Is, are they going to replace him? Do you think that'd be a good idea? And they just make him farmable now? I think it could be really good for the game. And then also, the one thing that I really, really like about this patch is they're kind of bringing a sandbox mode into this game, allowing you to fight your guild or your clan mates and your friends list defensive teams it's it's like a sandbox mode it's it's very very cool very underrated just a little blurb that i thought a lot of games don't have a lot of games don't have that so you can have the one guy in, in your clan that has or your club sorry that has the frozen team beasted out or he has the kingdom team really good and you want trying to find a counter for it because there's that one guy in your shard you can't beat 
it could give you the opportunity to do that. So, super cool. Let me know what you all think in that. And again, if you're just finding me for the first time, please consider hitting that subscribe button. We are growing every single day, and I love you all out there. And this game has become my second game. Still in love with Dragon Champions. That is my first game, and this game is just has endless possibilities, and I'm excited to make content for it. So click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on stuff coming your way. I'll see you on the next one. I'm out.